Hi, I'm Tim Fort, uh, and I'm known as the Kinetic King, our greatest creator of chain reaction gadgets in the 17 known universes. And I'm glad to be at the Library of Congress because when you use the restrooms here, you never run out of reading material. <laughs> well, <laughs> and in case you're wondering, how does a person get started in kinetic art? Well, I'll tell you. Um, it all started with my dad. My dad is the greatest artist uh, I've ever known. He does oil painting, carves ducks, uh, makes furniture, does everything. And he was definitely the reason I got started in art. And when I was a kid, I was a real geek. I played with Tinker Toys, Legos, uh, wooden blocks, everything you name it. I once built a suspension bridge across my basement of my house with a lot of string and Hot Wheels tracks. And believe it or not, I drove my parents crazy. And um, well, two things that influenced my uh, career as an artist was one, I saw a guy tumble 10,000 dominoes on Johnny Carson way back in 1974, which ages me, of course. And a um, friend of mine taught me the, how to make pop sticks. He showed me the simple five and six stick designs. And over the years, I've developed that. And I've set a couple of Guinness World Records for pop stick designs. And uh, throughout the year, uh, years when I was a kid, I uh, played around with all sorts of different techniques. And a lot of the, the chain reaction techniques I use come from that period all the way back to around 1980. And there was a part of my life where I actually tried to live a normal life. I took up space in college and got a degree in aerospace engineering. Unfortunately, that was when the aerospace industry went into a slump, so my uh, hopes of becoming a rocket scientist basically crashed and burned. And um, I was spinning my wheels for a while, and then sometime in the late 1990s, I had an epiphany of sorts. I realized that all the cool uh, parlor tricks I learned as a kid and came up with uh, could be turned into a new art form something that went beyond mere domino tumbling and Rube Goldberg gadgets, and thus kinetic art was born. And um, ever since then, I've been on a roll of uh, museum exhibitions. I've made a commercial in Belgium involving a lot of dominoes and a giant uh, anthropomorphic thumb-speaking Flemish. Um, I was at the Kokoran Gallery a few years ago here in Washington, D.C., and uh, my biggest break was with America's Got Talent. I basically uh, went up for my audition hoping to talk to uh, representatives of NBC. Never thought they'd take me seriously as an artist. And somehow I just kept going and going and uh, I found myself in a live show. And if any of you folks remember seeing that, um, I did have a quarterfinal disaster, but I got chosen for the wild card round and I redeemed myself. And I was very flattered that Piers Morgan compared me to Rocky Balboa. <laughs> and Went all the way up to the semifinal round, and I really couldn't believe that I went as far as I did. And just recently, I uh, worked on a music video called Tuna Melt uh, for a Canadian uh, scratch artist, A Track, and that video is going viral. And uh, the latest feather in my cap is being invited here to a TED Talk. And um, if I could get the video started, um, I'm going to show you uh, uh, Phonetic Kinetics. This is kind of a sampler of all my techniques. And in the beginning, of course, is domino tumbling, which was something I've been doing since I was nine years old. And uh, that's supposed to be me as a, a, a nerd with a divine spark. And a little herringbone chain here and face of yours truly. And then a little wacky rack. And then got some pop-up signs coming up here in just a minute. And... Um, Coming up is uh, reverse dominoes because I can't do things forward all the time. And uh, an attempt at a flip book, a device that didn't really work. And some more reverse dominoes followed by a string of wind chain. And this is one technique that goes back to the early 1980s. And a little wax paper here from one of my temporary jobs. and. Uh, Back to herringbone chain. And um, tried to do a mosaic with a, a sheep's head on the right, which kind of sort of worked. And um, off to a spinner timer. Haven't come up with a fancy name for it yet, but it works pretty neat. And um, 
eventually. <laughs> a time for an intermission break. Let's go out to the lobby and have ourselves a snack. And there, there we go with the dominoes. And a um, little back and forth action here. Um, and underside view of some dominoes. And then here we have a little string slide. And uh, a funnel timer for all you folks who missed out on the first intermission. And back to herringbone chain. And a few uh, different collapsing towers here. You know, it's great to let gravity do all the work. You know, it makes life easy for me. And just a really big tower, and you can see that it uh, takes up much of my studio space. I live in an artist commune in St. Paul. And a uh, trip hammer, which is kind of like a herringbone chain. And a couple of weird props. And a uh, collapsing mosaic, uh, spelling out my website. And um, have some rolling ball action here. And then off to a pop stick device. Um, this is the ortho weave. And these, this is my most popular device. Roar, a monster face here. And diamond weave. Um, I have several different weaves. And, and when you elevate the pop sticks, they go extremely fast, like about 120 feet per second. So I had to slow things down a bit. And then um, back to the herringbone chain and some more props. Uh, you might get the idea that I like snorkeling and scuba diving, and you'd be correct. And um, multi-layer herringbone chain here with a little uh, imp face in there that you can kind of catch. Uh, he's been with me for years. And uh, big herringbone device. This one's pretty fun. And uh, my, one of my favorite devices, the MyBridgeScope. And this was actually from Edward MyBridge's animation studies. And a gadget within a gadget, get recursive. And this was a cat that I had uh, befriended, just a stray cat that I fed. And this is a clever lever device, my latest chain reaction technique. And you just saw it in the room next door. And back to the herringbone, the, sort of the workhorse of my kinetic art and an attempt to play music. I call that the pegaphone after my sister who suggested using bottles. And back to the pop stick and a final woohoo. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you uh, very much, folks, for bearing with me. And uh, next up is Lee, um, who is uh, going to slay some trolls.